In this video, I'm gonna share with you how Dreamy runs the best defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And one of the best ways that you can get better at this game is through clicking the subscribe button. It is completely free to subscribe and it allows you to be able to stay up to date with all of the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now I asked some of you guys, what pro player do you want to learn a little bit more about? A lot of you said you wanted to learn a little bit more about Drini, and so we're going to be taking a look at his nickel 335 wide defense today and kind of some of the key concepts uh, that he likes to use. As some of you might know, I personally also like to run the nickel 335 wide defense, and so if you want to get my complete nickel 335 wide uh, defensive ebook it's on sale for just 15 bucks and it's available in the description you can get it right now i believe it is the best product that you will buy all season long in madden and the reason why is because it truly walks you through how to be effective on the defensive side of the ball how to defend pretty much every formation in the game with one cohesive defense and so if you want to learn Everything that I know about defense in Madden 21, I would just encourage you to head down to that description and pick up that defense. Now what you want to do when you're running this is you want to start in a nickel 335. This is, and the reason why, there's multiple reasons why, but one of the main reasons why we like to do this is because it allows us to get the best personnel we possibly can get on the field. So as you see right here, I'm subbing in corners all across the board. As you can see, I'm subbing in corners all back there on the back line, and then I'm gonna have safeties at linebacker with the 335, I can do that. And then you see here, I've got two linebackers and a nose tackle. If you don't want a nose tackle, maybe you're in mutt, you can put a defensive in there that has really fast speed. Now the play we're gonna be going over today is the Mike Blitz 3, and it's very simple in how we're gonna run this, but basically what you're going to do um, is you are going to come back over here into your coaching adjustments, you're going to put your flats on 25, your curl flats on five, your hook curls on five, and that's going to be how we're gonna run this, uh, run this defense. The setup for this defense is actually relatively simple. All you're going to do is you're gonna come out in a play from nickel 335 wide, and you're gonna audible down to Mike Blitz 3. As you see, I audible right down to it, and the next thing we're going to do is we're simply going to shift our defensive line to the side of the running back, and we're going to crash our defensive line out, and then we're gonna stand kind of right here. Now from there, you can make a variety of different adjustments, but if you're gonna be sending a simple pressure, like I am on this video, um, this is the easiest way to do it. And so all I'm gonna do is just run down to snap the ball, and then jump into coverage, and what you're gonna see is we're gonna get really good pressure, and we're gonna have pretty solid coverage. We're gonna take away everything immediately, and we're gonna put a lot of opportunity on our user. I'll show you that one more time. What we're doing is we're going to Mike Blitz 3, we're going to shift our defensive line to the side of the running back. We're going to use her kind of right in this little pocket right here. And at the snap of the ball, we're just going to run right off the edge. And for this formation, you might need to shift them a different direction. One of the beauties of the, the adaptability of this is you might need to shift it to a different direction. So like in this right here, we might do something like that just to kind of help with the pressure. And then, you know, you can kind of jump into coverage. But as you can see, solid pressure, solid coverage creates a solid defense. Now, uh, again, a lot of this does depend a little bit on where you stand. So for example, if I stand like over here, you know, this is going to kind of create a little bit of a new little feature. So there you see, there's the pressure off the right edge. The beauty of this pressure is it comes in so fast. As long as you do your job uh, as an assignment, as long as you do what you're supposed to do, you are going to find a lot, a lot of pressure with this. Um, again, you want to kind of mess around depending on the formation with where you shift it. But as a general rule, you want to shift to the side of the running back, and then you want to kind of adjust from there. So uh, in this specific formation, it is a little bit different. Um, as you can see, we're going to have to stay, you know, kind of shift it back this way or that way, whatever. But the beauty of it is in the pressure and the simplicity. So what I can do is I can set this up really quickly, and then I could do something like this. You know, maybe I'm maybe I'm not concerned about a seam, or maybe I know that I'm going to defend the seam. So maybe I'll run like some kind of cover two style invert defense come up the seam here, and as you can see, you know, you really build your defense around your user. The beauty is that you can easily adjust this. So let's say I wanna play max coverage. I'm gonna do exactly, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna do exactly the same steps. 
Um, the only difference is I'm going to put a vert hook out there, and then I'm going to put two flat zones that are at 25 yards, as you can see. And then we're just going to lay basically lurk in the middle of the field. And as you can see, we have pretty much everything taken away, and we get an instant shed sack. So this is the beauty of the nickel 335 wide defense. It gives you the flexibility to be able to do a lot of different things. It gives you the flexibility to be able to get very fast pressure, and it also gives you the flexibility to have phenomenal coverage behind it. And so if you want to learn my entire nickel 335 wide defensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. But basically what it is, is it is a video and a written version of a defensive guide that is going to walk you through step by step, not only how to run certain pressures and certain coverage schemes, but it's also going to show you how to do all of those things against some of the most popular offenses in Madden 21. It's going to teach you how to shut down gun bunch and trips tight end and U-trips and spread and uh, eye close and strong close and goal line and all of those things are available to you in this defensive ebook. And so if you want to learn how to become an elite defensively in Madden 21, I want to encourage you to get my defensive guide in the description for just 15 bucks. It will walk you through all of that. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. If you have any questions about the defense, go ahead and text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 or just hit me up uh, in the comments below. Thank you so much for your time. We're going to be streaming tonight. If you want to come by and play Madden with me, I'll be live tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So you can come by and hang out. But if you want to get that 335 wide defensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. Thanks for your time, and we'll see you on stream tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern.